James and the Giant Peach is a novel by British author Roald Dahl. It tells the story of a young English boy named James Henry Trotter, who lives with his two cruel aunts, Aunt Sponge and Aunt Spiker, on a barren hillside after his parents are tragically killed by an escaped rhinoceros. Life is miserable for James until, one day, he encounters a mysterious old man who gives him a bag of magical, luminescent crocodile tongues, promising that they will bring about marvelous changes. Before James can use them as instructed, he trips and spills them near an old peach tree, which then begins to grow a peach that increases in size until it becomes gigantic. Spying an opportunity, the aunts exploit the giant peach as a tourist attraction, but cruelly forbid James from playing near it. However, one night, James finds an entrance into the fruit and crawls inside to discover a group of oversized talking insects, a centipede, a spider, a grasshopper, an earthworm, a ladybug, a glowworm, and a silkworm. They are also massive due to the magic of the crocodile tongues, and they warmly welcome James. Together they sever the stem of the massive peach from the tree and embark on a fantastical voyage atop the peach as it rolls down the hill, crushes the aunts, and then falls into the sea. They resort to eating the sweet flesh of the peach for sustenance, and as they navigate the ocean, they bond and share stories. During their journey, they face several dangerous and surreal events, from evading a giant mechanical shark that intends to devour the peach, to navigating through a cloudy area full of ghostly skeletal figures known as the Cloud Men, who control the world's weather. James and his friends narrowly escape these perils due to their teamwork and James's quick thinking. As the peach floats across the Atlantic Ocean, the centipede manages to sever a number of long, silky strings from the sleeping silkworm, which they use to capture and tie to a flock of seagulls flying overhead. With the seagulls lifting the giant peach into the air and away from the sharks, they fly toward New York City. Their airborne journey is marred by further encounters with the cloud men, including an incident where the cloud men pelt the peach and its passengers with hailstones, and another where a rainbow they are painting gets smeared across the sky. Yet each time, James's leadership and inventive strategies help to save his new friends from disaster. As they approach New York, the peach is spotted by the astonished people in the city, who initially believe it to be a bomb and panic. Flying planes tangle in its silk strings, which eventually causes the peach to descend slowly, crash landing on top of the Empire State Building and causing a sensational spectacle. James and the insect companions quickly become media sensations, and the authorities carefully bring them down to safety. James tells the incredible story of his journey to the people of New York. His friends are quickly accepted, and each finds a fulfilling role in the city. The centipede becomes a children's shoe designer, the spider starts a business spinning silk, the earthworm becomes a mascot for a skin cream company, the grasshopper plays music in a renowned orchestra, the ladybug marries the head of the fire department, the glowworm becomes the light inside the Statue of Liberty's torch, and the silkworm and Miss Spider collaborate to produce silk. James, hailed as a hero, is finally free of his ants and their cruelty. The giant peach pit is established in Central Park, where James lives happily inside it, welcoming children every day to hear his story. The tale ends with James, who has found a new family amongst his insect friends, inviting children to come and see the peach stone, which has become a famous attraction. James, no longer lonely and miserable, is surrounded by love and friendship, ending the story on a note of happiness and fulfillment. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.